What's up guys, Omar Elatar here, and today I'm super excited to help you grow your business with another feature from Go High Level. Now before we start, quick question. Imagine if your website had a 24 seven assistant that never sleeps, never misses a message, and can talk to 10 people at once. That's exactly what we're setting up today inside of Go High Level. For example, a digital marketing client of ours in the agency space reduced administrative time by 60% and improved client satisfaction by 35% using Go High Level's AI powered automation that handles multiple conversations simultaneously. So it's just like having a 24 seven assistant that never sleeps. And trust me guys, if you wanna grow your business, making sure your customers are taken care of is key. And in this video, Voltaire is gonna walk you through step-by-step step how you can build your own AI chatbot that will instantly answer common questions, capture names and emails, and even book appointments for you, all without you lifting a finger. And here's the best part. Once it's live, you're no longer changed to your inbox or DMs. Your prospects get instant responses and you stay focused on running the business. You can work on the business, not in the business. And guys, real quick, before you follow along, if you don't already have an account, make sure to click the link below to grab your 30-day free trial of Go High Level. That way, as you follow along, you can actually do this step-by-step -step inside of your own account at zero financial risk to you, okay? And my hope is that by the end of this video, you'll have a working AI agent running on overtime that turns leads into booked calls all day long to put more profit in your pocket. So with no further ado, let's dive right in and I'll pass you along to Voltaire to walk you through step-by-step. -step. So pay attention to the very end. All right, let's give your website a 24 seven assistant that never sleeps and never takes breaks and can handle multiple customers at once. So we're building an AI chatbot that answers uh, common questions instantly. So from your dashboard, you're gonna go to AI agents on the left side menu here, and you're going to click on conversational AI. You're going to create your first AI agent and once you are on this screen here, you can click the drop down menu, click on guided form setup and general Q and A. And you're just going to follow all of these directions here in order to get your bot up and going. So uh, you can type in whatever your company name is here. So I just uh, filled out some general information here and then you're going to pick up brand voice. Let's say, uh, let's say friendly friendly brand voice, any additional information here that you want to describe. So maybe it's your target audience, pain points, uh, maybe it's your brand promise and values. So all of this stuff, the more that you can customize it and answer these questions, the more personalized your bot is. But for now, we'll just go ahead and click on save. And this bot has been created successfully. I just click on next. And now for the bot settings, we can call this a full bot. Okay. And the preferred channels that you want it to rest on. So it can respond to Instagram DMs, Facebook DMs. It can respond to SMS. It can have also a chat widget through SMS chat, live chat on your website and WhatsApp. So I'm just going to choose the live chat widget on the website. And you can choose your wait time before responding and making this as your primary bot. You can have several bots that have different knowledge bases. So one bot could be to book an appointment and that is the objective of the bot. The other one can be more of like a general FAQ bot to answer any questions about hours, location, that kind of information. And then you can customize the initial greeting. Say, set with me here. Otherwise, if it is left empty, the bot will just use a standard generic greeting. And then it will ask for information that it can collect from the person that is talking to it. So if there are certain things that you want it to collect, like name, email, phone, maybe a street address, maybe a city, it will ask them for their name and their email, phone number, and also any other questions as well, if you want to have that. But for now, we'll just keep it very simple. Just do name and email. If they, you have different options here as well, like if they have already filled out that, question or if they've already given their name, it won't ask it again. The appointment details, if you want it to allow to book an appointment on your calendar, it can do that. And if it doesn't know the answer to something, then it can send you an email saying someone is chatting with a bot. You might want to check in and take over the conversation manually, but I'm just going to go ahead and click save there. And now we can go ahead and click on autopilot which means that it automatically replies based on the trained data that it has. And 
once I click save and close, we can go ahead and put that on the website, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. But when, right now we can go ahead and test the bot. It asked for my name. It also asked for my email. Once it got that all set up, I basically asked it, well, who are you? And it says that they are rep representative of the ABC company, which is the company that we had just created for this demonstration. And then I asked, what are the office hours? If you recall, we had put in office hours into its training database. And it said that Monday through Friday, eight to five, which is exactly right. So this bot pretty much is good to go for what it's been trained for. Albeit it is very simple, simple, but just as a demonstration, this is the type of thing that it can answer and do. Now you can also train these bots to be much more in depth with all of your products, your office hours, general FAQs, all of those things. It just takes some time in order for you to train it, but it is ready to go. So to put this on a website, I'm just gonna go over to sites here and click on chat widget. And when it says web chat for your website, click on new, click on live chat, I'm going to go through the prompts here to create a chat widget. You can change the styles, you can change the colors, all of that stuff. But once you are done with that, you click on get code and you copy this code, give it to the web developer, or you place it on your site if you know how to code and they will be able to install the web chat widget. Once it is installed, it will look something like this. So this is just a demo website here. Down here, as you can see, there is a chat button. If I click on it, I've already had conversations with this chat widget before, but basically if I start the chat, it will answer me in real time. Ask me for my name, ask me for my email. And when I asked it, who are you? It says, again, it is the representative of ABC company. And if I ask it, what are your hours? Apply that it had in training. Um, when we were testing out the bot. So it is, as you can see, it is thinking. And now it's Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., which is what we had trained it on. And if there are any other knowledge bases that you would like to input into this chat bot, it can answer those questions as well. Uh, for now, this is just a simple, simple de demonstration of how live chat can work with an AI chat bot in order to answer very basic questions. Again, these chat bots can get very complex in terms of how much you want to train it and how much you want to be it to be able to answer questions. But again, now you have yourself a 24 seven bot basically that is available to answer FAQ book appointments, answer you know location questions, hours of operation, those types of things. So that is how you set up and deploy an automated chat bot onto your website. And again, this can be, um, it can be put on to reply to Facebook DMs, Instagram DMs, WhatsApp, all kinds of different locations where you can deploy a chat bot like this. Let's talk automation and what automation can do for your business. So this was a poll that's been taken by some major, major corporations asking about automation and how it's helped their business. So 82% have reported that sales teams were freed up to focus on client relationships. 30% reported an increase in client retention rates within six months. 89% of employees reported a higher job satisfaction due to automation and taking a lot of the routine stuff off of their workload. And then 80% of the financial department tasks can be automated according to these reports. So automation can definitely help out a lot with your business, no matter what sector you're in. So let's take a look at how we can accomplish automation with Go High Level. So here I am again on the dashboard. This is where you're going to start out at. And on the left side hand menu, there is a automation tab. So if I click onto this tab here, it'll take me to the automation page. Now your automation list may not have anything in it and that is totally fine. What you can do then is to start an automation. You can go to create workflow and actually go high level has templates already made for you that you can use right off the bat. All you have to do is change a couple of things and you can immediately begin certain automations to happen. So let's go ahead and select from template. And they have all kinds of different templates, categories. If there are certain tags that are associated with the automation, you can have your own, you can have those that are shared with you. 
but let's take a look at a category to convert leads. Now, they've got what they call recipes. These are pre-made automations that you can deploy and use almost immediately once you've changed a couple things here and there into the automation itself. But these are pretty much ready to go and based off of historical data that Go High Level has seen with some of the top businesses that are using it and, and how they are deploying it within their own businesses. Let's actually start with the communication since that seems to be a pretty popular one. And the recipe that I'm going to choose is the email drip sequence. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. And if I hover over it, it'll tell me like a very, very brief description of it. But I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It'll show me a brief preview of what the automation looks like. And then it'll show you exactly what this automation does. So it is an email engagement sequence. And it basically um, adapts to whether a contact has opened the email or not. You have emails one, two, and three based again on if they open it. If not, they go to a certain next email. If they do open it, then they go to another uh, automation sequence. So it's a really cool one. I'm just going to hit continue. This will actually add it and pop up the workflow. So this is your main workflow window. This is where you're going to work out of in terms of how to get these automations to work for you. Triggers are basically anything that sets off the automation. Now the trigger could be a comment reply, the trigger can be a reply to an email, They've, or maybe they've opted into your free lead magnet, whatever the case is, you can add a trigger here. And there's a number of different triggers that can set off this entire automation. All you have to do is look for it. So let's just say that there is a form submitted um, Let's say we had an opt-in form on our website. Someone, you know, opted in for our free lead magnet. They said, yes, I want to receive all this stuff. Great. So that will now be the trigger. And that will set off this entire automation sequence. Now, this looks complex. It's really not once you get the idea behind it and once you get the concept behind it. So once this happens, so let's say somebody has submitted the form, right? So the first email immediately goes out. And if I click into here, I can... Name it something that is easily identifiable. So this is maybe email one. Location is your business location. You're from email. All of this stuff is dynamic. So this will automatically be populated based on what you've inputted before. Subject line and then also free, and it gives you instructions. Create a text email here or build visual marketing emails and then some select from the template above. So you can actually type in here. This is email one or here is your free lead magnet. Magnet. There you go. And then that will automatically send out the email once somebody has submitted the form or opted into your lead magnet. Click save action. And that is pretty much it for auto that part of the automation. Real simple to set up. So let's take a look at the next step that happens. Well, now there's a wait step. Wait to see if somebody has opened it. So it's going to wait for a day to check and see if the email has been opened. So if somebody has opened the email, great. Now it is going to go to this branch. So you can see here, there's a conditional logic step that happens that says, was email one opened? And if yes, great, go down this whole entire branch of things to happen. If not opened, then it will go down this entire branch. So you can see how customizable this can be based on the actions that people take. So if the email was not opened, well, now you can try again with a new subject line. Maybe the subject line itself wasn't catchy enough, or maybe there was just, they just got lost in the sea of emails in their inbox. A number of different things can happen. So you can try it again with a different subject line. You can keep the same subject matter if you want to, just change the subject line. Because remember, the objective is to get them to open the email. And if they didn't, well, let's send them a new email with a different subject line and see if that'll get them to open it. Then it'll again, it'll wait a day to check if the email was opened. If not, it'll automatically go to the second email, which again, if the first email was open, it goes down to this branch here. And this is going to be ongoing. If it was not open, you've got a contingency plan that is send another email with a new subject line. And no matter what happens, just go ahead and go to the next step, which is email number two. And now you've got your email number two sequence, which again could be more of a nurture sequence, you know, more of a founder story, maybe a case study, 
maybe book a call with us type of email, whatever you want. So it's totally up to you, totally customized to however you see fit. And the same thing happens again. It waits for a day to check if email two was now opened. And was it open? No? Great. Then we can just go to another subject line. Same thing we did with email one. If it was opened, awesome. Now it goes to email three. And it just keeps on repeating itself. So you've got this whole entire automation sequence based on whether or not somebody opens their emails. And if not, it automatically will filter them through the entire sequence. But if, if it was open, it goes through the entire sequence as it should. So there's different ways that you can take a look at these branches, different conditional things that'll happen. And all of this happens automatically. You don't have to have anybody looking o over it. You don't have to have anyone checking on it. It all happens behind the scenes 24 hours a day. So that is the power of automation. And this is a very, very simple email drip sequence. And this is just one of many automations that you can deploy that can take over a number of routine tasks that you do. So if you're tired of sending out constant emails that may or may not be opened and then checking to see if somebody replied or not, go ahead and deploy one of these automations here. And all of these branches that you see will happen automatically and cycle through and make sure that at least one of your emails will get opened, hopefully. And, and yeah, and then wait for a reply. So that is the power of automation. Again, one of many, many, many automations that are available in GHL. Well, folks, there you have it. And just like that, you've now got a 24 seven AI agent working for you, answering questions, booking appointments, and keeping your leads engaged while you sleep. And guys, if you actually followed along, you're already way ahead of most business owners who are still tied down to endless back and forth emails and missed DMs. Trust me, I know this stuff can seem overwhelming, but it's a lot simpler than you think, especially with Go High Level. And guys, like I mentioned, don't stop here. There is so many more features of High Level that you can access right away. And I'm super excited because we're gonna be sharing them on the channel. Again, if you haven't already, all you gotta do is simply click the link below and download your free 30 day trial of Go High Level to get your business in automation with AI today. And if you found this valuable, make sure to hit that subscribe button because you're not gonna wanna miss the next video as we develop more and more tutorials to help you practically, step-by-step, -step, grow your business with High Level. I'm excited to help you scale. And with no further ado, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.